Oh, that's right, baby. It's time. Joker movie review. Oh, it's time for J-Rock to react. What did J-Rock think of that movie? You're about to find out. Hey, what J-Rock is cooking. Finally, J-Rock has come back to you too. Oh, what is happening in 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 with the millions of J-Rock's fans? J-Rock is here, and you're here with him, and J-Rock appreciates that. Joker movie review. J-Rock saw the movie Joker. What did J-Rock think about it? J-Rock says this. Uh, this movie takes you inside the mind, inside the world of a psychopath. Now, everybody knows what the Joker eventually becomes, you know, with Batman and all that stuff. Everybody knows how that all turns out. This movie gives you the the prequel of if you will of how he became the joker you know what went wrong with him uh this movie is set in i want to say back in maybe the 1980s something like that uh, and it starts out basically about a guy uh, who has a mental condition. He has a mental condition, clearly. I mean, it's the Joker, that's no revelation to anybody. He has a mental condition, but he is trying to function in the real world with this mental condition. He's trying to be around people, he's trying to build relationships, he's trying to maintain relationships, but he has this mental condition, all right? And this mental condition ends up affecting his ability to function in the real world, right? Now, he has friends, uh, he has some relationships, but there is a part in this movie where you see similarities in the Joker and, you know, the rest of society because he's more introverted and not at, he's not he's not a, he's more of an introvert and not a not an extrovert. Uh, an extrovert is someone that's really outgoing, out there, you know, people oriented, likes being around people. An introvert is someone who you know they pretty much internalize things, they internalize their emotions, their feelings. They pretty much keep things bottled in, keep to themselves. They have very limited relationships with people. One of the things that introverts tend to do is they internalize their desires about certain things. And they can imagine themselves in situations that probably will never happen. They might happen, but probably will never happen. And you see a lot of that in this movie. You see a lot of that with uh, the Joker and him imagining himself in situations that they may happen, they may not happen. Now there isn't a there isn't a situation that he imagines himself in. He imagines it going a certain way, and later on in the movie, he actually finds himself in that situation, but it doesn't go the way he thought it would have gone, right? And um, well, I'll let you find out whether or not it it turned out good or if it turned out bad. But there is some situations that he imagines happening and it kind of leads down that road of him becoming the Joker, all right? Uh, he feels that society doesn't understand him. Uh, he feels at times like he's being taken advantage of, mistreated. Uh, It gets to a point to where the line blurs between fiction and reality. 
Uh, they do a good job of blurring those lines. Uh, they they try to make him a, a, a sympathetic, they try to make a psychopath a sympathetic figure by trying to, you know, strike different chords inside of us, the viewer. By saying, you can understand how this can affect somebody, right? You can understand how this might tick somebody off, right? You can understand that this might upset and set somebody off, right? That's what they do a lot of in this movie, right? And so, while he's trying to hold it together, it slowly begins to unravel because we're waiting for the big climax. It, it's a, it's a, it's a nice little build um, that builds up the anticipation. Now, for me, there were parts in this movie where I'm sitting here thinking to myself, "Oh, this is it. Oh, this is this is the straw that broke the camel's back. He's about to snap." But he doesn't. And it just keeps building. And then it happens again. I'm like, oh, yeah. He didn't snap that time. He's definitely about to snap now. And he doesn't. And so it just keeps happening. It just keeps going. They, they do a nice, they do a good job of keeping you interested. And, okay, that didn't set him off. What the hell about to happen now? And it, and it just builds off of each other. Uh, obviously eventually he does snap he does lose it and we begin to see the beginnings of what makes him the clown prince of crime because one of the things that makes Joker Joker is the fact that his violence is unpredictable and you see a lot of that in this movie where things happen where you're like oh crap right he's not your typical criminal right he's very unpredictable very unstable like one second he's fine and the next one boom he snaps and so a lot of that happens in the movie and it's it's you don't see it coming well at least i did you know something's gonna happen you're just like okay is he gonna snap now and there are parts in this movie where I'm like, oh, I didn't know he's, I didn't think that set him off. Oh, crap. So, man, friends like that, who needs enemies, right? You'll see what I mean when I say that. But, um, the final act, the final act is this big crescendo. And he lets the world know that he's the Joker and the Joker is here in Gotham. The Joker is here. And he does it in a very big and shocking way. Now, the events in the movie lead up to this point. Uh, right before this thing happens, I had a feeling he was about to snap. But he does it in a place that I didn't think he'd do it. Because again, he's unstable and unpredictable. So when this happens, I'm thinking to myself, Whoa! Ho ho! I did not think he was about to do that. I did not think he was going to go there. But that's his big entrance. That's his big announcement to the world. That there is a new criminal in town and his name is the Joker. Um, the actor that played the Joker did a very good job of being the Joker in this movie. All right, his laugh, his facial expressions. He really uh, dives deep into this character and he pulls out you know, nuances of this character that you haven't seen before in previous Joker movies. Well, Joker characters, rather. Uh, is he better than Heath Slater? I'm trying to think. If, if this Joker was in The Dark Knight, would, would it have the same effect? I think it would. I honestly think that if that if this Joker was in that Dark Knight movie, 
based upon where the Joker is at that point in his life, and if you fast forwarded this Joker to that point in his life, I think that movie would do just as good. I don't know if it would have done better, but I think it would have been. I don't. It wouldn't have. It wouldn't have been a drop at all. It would not have been a drop at all. Right. But yeah, this. Uh, I'm definitely gonna watch this movie again when it comes out on DVD. Uh, but yeah, this movie, man, this. It was. It, it's a slow build, right? So I mean, if you're looking for non-stop action, non-stop, you know, gun shooting, that, that this is not that type of movie. This is a, a a drama thriller that leads you down a road, uh, basically the primrose path, if you will. And this guy has issues, uh, and they try to make it seem like him getting to this point was understandable and so they do a good job of really picking at you in that in that sort of thing to where you're like he's crazy but I get it don't agree with it but I get it and so they do a good job of that so based on what J-Rock seen in this movie J-Rock is gonna give this movie Four and a half YouTube people's eyebrows. Okay? Because uh, it was that good of a movie. It really, really was. Not saying it's the greatest movie I've ever seen. It wasn't. Uh, but it's one of the best movies I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of movies. Uh, I, I, I think I'm pretty hard on most movies. So this one did a good job. But. If you've seen the movie, what you'd rate it, um, do me a favor, don't ruin it for anybody, don't spoil it, all right? Do, do that for J-Rock, all right? Uh, but post your comments down below, let me know what you thought of this reaction. If you appreciated J-Rock's reaction to this, let me know, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the People's Channel. J-Rock is trying to get to one million subscribers and you cannot do it without you. Also, um, Share this video, let everybody know, let the world know that the most electrifying YouTuber in all of YouTube and entertainment, the YouTube people's champ, J-Rock, is here. And also make sure you hit that bell so that you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Until next time. If you smile, la 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 la. What J-Rock?